Come on. Come on, you stupid script ass mother. God damn. Oh! <laughs> hey guys, I didn't hear you come in. Welcome inside of the plastic plant. As you guys can see, I'm doing a little bit of home maintenance and repair tonight. Is there anything more rewarding than, than you know, taking care of your own home with a little bit of elbow grease and a nice cold beer? Man, I don't know what's better than this. Actually, I can think of a lot of things better than this. But nevertheless, yeah, I guess you guys are probably here for Hot Toys Hump Day, huh? Well, I don't, honestly, I have no idea what figure, come on, I'm going to review tonight. I really hadn't planned ahead, and I apologize for that. I'm just trying to get this goddamn shower drain cleaned out. Yeah, I have no idea what figure I'm going to review tonight. Nah, that's disgusting. Actually, I do know what figure I'm going to review tonight. <laughs> Hot Toys Hump Day is next. It's a knickknack micro moment. Well, holy hell, this week on Hot Toys Hump Day, it's the one six scale Hot Toys Chewbacca from episode seven. This is Hot Chewbacca 2.0 as it would be, as there was another one that came out just a couple, about a year prior to this one coming out that was slated as an episode four Chewbacca. I chose to get this one just because it was the second rendition of the Mighty Wookiee. And Chewbacca over the years has been sort of a hit and miss proposition. Mostly, mostly miss with action figure uh, uh, sculptors and developers. Going as far back as 1999 in the late 90s, Kenner had an attempt at doing a fur medium based Chewbacca and as you can see according to uh, Steve Sansweet's uh, action figure archive published in 1999, it was a complete and utter failure. Look at that piece of shit. Not too much later, in around 2002, Hasbro gave Chewbacca a shot in 12-inch form. This time, it was molded plastic with no fur whatsoever. And as you can see, well, this one turned out to be a complete and utter piece of shit. What a frickin' turd! So really, you can see why it's a frickin' no-brainer. I was so excited about two years ago to finally get this awesome 1-6 scale Chewbacca from Hot Toys. Yes, it took Hot Toys, a premium action figure maker, and just north of $250 to finally get Chewbacca even serviceable. Now this is not a perfect figure. It's cool, and it looks pretty good, I think, but it is not a perfect figure. Number one, number one reason is, coming right out of the box, this thing looks like a big, hairy piece of shit. I mean, it looks like a giant SOS pad. So you have to futz the hell out of this figure. They, they, they do give you a little tiny comb to do it. Um, I, I, I read online that it was better to use a like a child uh, sized uh, soft bristle toothbrush like this one here. Um, and as you can see, you do you have you gotta futz with him. You gotta you gotta comb his hair. It's it's like I mean I feel like I'm I feel like I'm grooming my little pony here. You know, my little pony, my little pony. Seriously, there is a lot of futzing with this figure to get it just right. Now, on the plus side of that though, I have seen some collectors on YouTube and on other action figure uh, web forums do some amazing things and some amazing sculpting with the hair on this figure. You know, making it look really windswept and awesome. So there are some advantages to that futzing as well. Nevertheless, that sort of, you know, level 10 and above posing uh, skills are way above my grade, my pay grade personally. So anyway, so mine looks just okay, I guess. Um, this figure also, it depends on what angle you're looking at him. He can look either really awesome or kind of shitty. Um, he, he looks like, like a dead ringer for Chewbacca from one angle, and from another angle, you know, he looks like the freaking cowardly lion from The Wizard of Oz. No, <laughs> I like to get some courage. <laughs> so, I mean, seriously, it is, in that respect, a mixed bag. But, when you take into consideration the previous incantations of Chewbacca over the years and all the major fails in one six scale medium that this character has endured, this is honestly a freaking pot of gold right here. So, that it is as they say, as it is. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up this Hot Toys Hump Day. I hope you enjoyed this awesome one six scale uh, tour of Chewbacca from uh, 
actually The Force Awakens, Episode 7. Hey guys, it's your good buddy Nick Knack. As you can see, we are in the nerve center of the plastic planet. And I have gone out of my way to make, you know, a few improvements in how my videos are presented. I, I went ahead and I bought some, some nicer uh, photography lights, hopefully to, to, you know, to up the, the, the production value of the plastic planet. And, you know, a big apology to my, to my subscribers and, and, and anyone who watches my videos. I didn't get a video out this last week. Um, I had my mother in town and she's only in twice a year. Plus it's back to school time for the kids and just a lot of, a lot of activities going on that do not unfortunately involve myself in the plastic planet. But we're back on track and I hope you've enjoyed this Hot Toys Hump Day. And, uh, and I hope you guys join me every week right here on the plastic planet. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and you know what? Damn it, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Love to have you guys right here on the plastic planet because we have a hell of a lot of fun here. All right, guys, till next time.